Did you have a validating provider? Meaning a person who made you feel like what you want and feel are very important. Someone who listened and assured you that you are okay and normal just the way you are. In fact, you are a beautiful gift from God. If you didn't receive that from your provider, let's care for the stress and trauma. What emotions might be internalized if you don't receive validation? Unimportant, unusual, or abnormal? Maybe feeling like an alien? Broken or flawed? Set your intention, karate chop point. I may have received something other than validation, which may have created unhealthy feelings and patterns. I love and accept them all. Front of the ears, who are you calling terrible? Terrible twos, you probably don't remember, but our culture wasn't taught what to do with free will, so they break its spirit. Corner of the eyebrow, you don't need that. Don't ask me again or else. What you want is not important. Side of the eyes, I'll give you something to cry about. Your sadness and crying are not okay, maybe abnormal. Under eyes, you learn that your providers are not on your side, maybe even the enemy. Inside of the eyes, you learn that your choices are to comply or rebel. You feel like nobody cares what you want. Side of the nose, what is wrong with me? I know that's how invalidation works, but careful with the questions. Your brain is designed to find the answers to the questions you ask. Under nose, we're clearing channels of any stressful memory, letting go of any stressful feelings, unimportant, abnormal, alien, broken, anything other than beautiful gift from God, let it go. Jin, observe strategies. If you felt like any of that, how do you now try to prove your worth? Sacrifice, pain, not healthy or helpful. Collarbone, I was taught that the result of a lack of validation is seeking approval a terrible goal in life. Difficulty handling disappointment, and because you feel broken inside, you try to fix everyone. Also not helpful or healthy. Under arms, loving all parts of you. This is the great embrace. Give all of you a big hug, and consider the value of not being validated. Independence, flexible, one of the most powerful when coupled with healthy boundaries. Inquisitive, what strengths develop from this stress? Top of the head, pull those strengths and values deeply into your body, mind, and spirit. Embracing them and letting go of the stress and trauma. Rinse and repeat as necessary. It might take some repetition to overwrite how many years of stress. I've met adults who are still seeking the approval of their father. Choose health. 